Hey, what's going on? My name is Chris Lightness. I'm here at Victory Vapors in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, one of the vape shops here. And I'm here to shoot a video about e-cigarettes and vaping in general. Uh, basically what I'm going to do in this video is show the different types of e-cigarettes that are available. Uh, you might remember, you know, have the impression that that is an e-cigarette, which it is, but this is one of the earlier versions. This, in fact, was my very first e-cigarette that I got about five years ago at CES and it still works. But it's a horrible vape. So anyway, uh, an e-cigarette in itself is a simple process where basically it's just a battery and an atomizer. The way that the they work together in the different types of e-cigarettes is quite the same but there's different forms and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is show the different types of e-cigarettes that are out there. Uh, like I said, this is a, called a Sigalite, which I like to call gas station cigarettes, e-cigarettes. And uh, they basically just come pre-filled and you can either get them as a complete disposable like this blue here that you can't do anything with. You can't, you know, after you use the, uh, you know, until the battery dies, which is in the bottom here, it's pretty much through and spent. Then you have the types like this one where you can actually replace the cartridges uh, and that's an ecosystem where uh, the tobacco industry is going to get you to continue to buy their product. Uh, these are fine and dandy but they're not going to help many people quit smoking because the experience isn't that great. The physical feel of it is but yeah. So anyway that's uh, Sigalites. Uh, next up you've got Ego style batteries and they come in all sizes and form factors. You've got like, for instance, this Vision Spinner 2, which has a uh, eight or 1650 milliamp hour battery. It's quite quite large compared to a regular cigarette, and you use a like a Ego style tank on it with Ego threading, like this one here, which is one of the higher end models you can get, or you can get one of these lower end models like this that comes with this actual Inokin CLK, which is a 850 milliamp hour battery, and then you can get these little starter kits that have little small batteries. They don't last long, long at all, but they're good for getting you started. Uh, in fact, you can buy a kit, something like this from Halo, that comes with two batteries, two tanks, and the charger and everything you need right there in one kit. And you can typically get those from anywhere from 50 to $75, depending on the quality. Or you can go as low end as this with like a $20, $30. Usually these are at you know, like $15.99 to $25. Bucks. Uh, it's a little kit that comes with the battery, a uh, cheaper tank, and a Ego style battery charger. Going up from that, you've got uh, variable voltage or variable wattage devices or a combination of both, like in this one, the Inokin uh, MVP2, which this is the Shine Edition. They come in different sizes or colors, and they there it's a got an internal non-replaceable 2600 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it'll take Ego style um, cartomizers or clearmizers and um, 510 threads. So uh, those are really nice. I mean, probably one of the best starting vaporizers that you can get, in my opinion, uh, just to get you going. It's got plenty of battery life, uh, good voltage, and this variable voltage and wattage. Whereas you've got the VV here, which is uh, variable voltage only, and this is. Kind of like the Ego style, but this one will take a 510 tank or a Ego threaded tank. And those those are pretty good starter kit as well. Uh, what I didn't mention though, the Inokin Click and the Vision Spinner have variable voltage that you can turn at the bottom there too. So the, these are kind of, in my opinion, you, you skip these and go to these. So that's the Ego style stuff. Then you get into let's say, you know, like box mods where you've got variable voltage and variable, variable, excuse me, not variable voltage, but variable wattage. You crank the wattage up to whatever you need and they usually have reg a regulated chip on them where you got a display that you can set your wattage on it. But this is a, you can call it a box mod, but you know, it's also a variable wattage box. So, you know, I've got a, uh, an actual dripping tank in here. And these put out pretty good clouds but you can use on these types of boxes you can put both um, or you can only put you can use an RDA or an RBA or a regular tank something like the um, Spire Nautilus or Nautilus Mini uh, you can use any and all of them on that you can't use ego threaded tanks on these though 
Uh, they come in different sizes and flavors. This is a really popular one here. This is a, a clone of the Hanna Mods, which is a 30-watt uh, uh, box mod, and basically you adjust your your wattage right here and then fire it right there and you can use the same type of tanks on this one as you can on this one. I've got a K-Fun style tank on this one. And then the wattage of these box mods are going up and up and up. This one here when it came out is a 50 watt box. This one's got 100 watts. This is a Segele 100 watt. And I've got what they call the uh, the iLeaf Limo on there, which is kind of like a K-Fun, but it's bigger and uh, has a lot more airflow in my opinion. So, uh, but those are different types of box mods. There's also, you can also get an unregulated box mod, which doesn't have any uh, any chip in it to regulate voltage or <clears throat> regulate the voltage or the wattage. Um, they basically work like a mech mod, which is the next thing we're gonna talk about. With a mech mod, Basically, most people that use mech mods, which basically it's just a, a shiny tube, or this one isn't quite shiny, but, and basically it, you replace the battery. This is an 18650 Li-Ion battery, and this particular one's a 35 amp, 2500 milli, the 2500 milliamp hours. But anyway, basically just, uh, you know, you've got the battery in here, you've got a firing switch usually at the bottom. This is on the mech mods, and then like here, I've got an RDA on there, which is the um, the plume veil, and it worked like this. You take the button, and that's it. Uh, they come in different. There's literally hundreds of different variations of of a mech mod. Like I said, it's just basically a tube with a 510 connector on top and a switch on the bottom. Uh, you've got like this Black Panzer clone here and different type of RDA on top, which happens to be the CLT2. Then you've got, uh, and those are both 18650 style mech mods, and then you've got a bigger one, which if you look at the size difference there, this one takes a 26650 battery, which uh, looks like this here, as compared to an 18650 battery. Quite a big difference in size. Um, it's just a preference of what you want. This is actually a Tree of Life clone with a uh, tow Addy on top, and uh, yeah, so I mean, they, they look the same, they operate the same. The switch is a little different than this one. This one is inset, and that one's spring loaded on outset there. So, uh, then you can get into some fancier looking things like this 134 mini, which is a variable voltage device, but it looks like a mech mod. Uh, but that's pretty much it, those are the different types of of um. Atomize, or um, vaporizers that you can get on the market today. Um, really, I, I don't recommend in today is advanced as the vaping you know, equipment is today. I wouldn't, I don't recommend cigalites at all. Um, I mean, they might work for some people, but if you're a heavy smoker or even an average smoker, the vapor production you get from something like this, it's really not sufficient. I mean, you, you really don't need like this just to get you to quit smoking, but it helps to have something that you can you know, actually get a good taste in vapor production. And that's pretty much it. Those are uh, the different types of vaporizers that you can get today in the vaping world.